great possibility of the India Alliance coming to power. Will Mamta be a consensual, consensus? I'm sorry, consensus candidate? Well, it's the. Bengalis have had a president in Pranam Mukherjee, but not a prime minister. We came close to it in the 90s when the then state CM Jyoti Basu was the unanimous choice from the third front, but his party CPIM didn't allow the veteran politician to be at the helm. Basu called it historic blunder, which was lapped up by many. But in Mamta Banerjee's case, TMC supporters are optimistic that she could be the unanimous choice if there is any possibility of the India Alliance coming to power. Analysis Diganta Guha. It all depends on how the voters swing. She has to have the numbers 30 35 seats, and with Congress's number in the triple digits, things may be difficult. But in case of a hung parliament, defectors may not accept Rahul Gandhi as the PM. So in that case, the West Bengal CM could be a choice. But it all depends on the numbers and her acceptability within the India Alliance because there are too many aspirants. But will she be able to counter the Modi wave? We Bengalis are very biased towards our culture. Everyone is. We are no exception. We Bengalis are very ambitious as well. We've had a Bengali president in Pranam Mukherjee. But what about a Bengali Prime Minister? Does Mamta Banerjee have the potential to lead the country? I have been researching a lot on the elections, the voting turnouts. I've spoken to a cross-section of people and I thought of making a video out of what exactly Bengalis want out of Mamta Banerjee. Well, the problem is there is a section which wants a Bengali Prime Minister. Mamta Banerjee as a PM. They are mostly TMC supporters. But there is a huge section which really thinks they are not exactly anti-TMC. They think that she's not capable of running a country because of various reasons. Now, talking to Shamim Bhattacharya of BJP, he's already made it very clear that TMC won't have the numbers. And even in South Bengal, there is an anti mamta wave, which means that Mamta Banerjee getting the numbers in West Bengal is of paramount importance, if at all there's any possibility of the India lands coming to power. Well, as of now, people are saying that Modi will retain his position at the helm. But if at all, there is a chance, there is a big possibility of the India alliance coming to power. Will Mamta be a consensual, consensus, I'm sorry, consensus candidate? Well, it's difficult to say because I've always maintained the fact that this India alliance is a conglomerate of contradictions. There are too many aspirants. There's Rahul Gandhi, well, I think he's your maybe in jail, but he would also be eyeing that position. And there are others as well, Stalin and others. Shalat Power is also there. So, uh, you know, to think on the lines of Mamta Banerjee becoming a unanimous choice, if at all, there's any possibility of the India Alliance coming to power. Uh, it would be a huge boop for Bengalis. And as I said, you know, we'll be proud of the fact that Mukherjee was our president and we were like, you know, excited, elated. We were, you know, like on cloud nine. But the problem with Mamta Banerjee is her gift of gaps, you know, the kind of statements that she makes. At the same time, she doesn't have a you know, what should I say, I mean, that, that sort of a credibility, even within the India Alliance. Adi Chaudhary of the Congress will be up against Mamta Banerjee. Even recently, he made certain, hurled certain buffs against Mamta Banerjee, saying that she's the one who walked out of the India Alliance. Then there's the left front. And there are other contenders too as well. So it's very difficult to say, well, Mamta Banerjee would be the unanimous choice. But as, as a hardcore TFG supporter said, that in case there is a possibility of India Alliance coming to power or even if they are in a position to be in power, there could be some defections from the NDA. And in that case, Pamta Banerjee might play an important role. But then the numbers are very important. People are saying that the BJP is going to get 30 seats in the Lok Sabha. Though the KMC uh, uh, supporters are very confident that they are going to sweep. In fact, Aruna Vokosh, a senior Congress politician, has said that despite all what people are saying, that Mamta Banerjee will still have the numbers in West Bengal. So it's important that Mamta has a sizable number so as to call the shots. In that case, 42 seats, at least 32, 35 seats. If she has those numbers, then she would be in a position to actually, you know, I mean, ask for uh, or even demand the PM's post. Though she has always categorically said that she does a tie with PM post. And then, and then there's the Rahul Gandhi factor as well. But it all depends on the numbers. But as of now, people in West Bengal, you know, want to see a Bengali Prime Minister. 
But if it's Mamta Banerjee, then it's nothing like it because she still, despite all the criticism she faces, she still has that credibility. She still has that mass appeal. Wherever she goes, you know, she draws people. People listen to her, and she has that sentimental attachment with with the people. So let's wait and watch what happens. This is the Gautam reporting for Air News Agency, Kolkata.